Good afternoon. Actually, it's still good morning here in uh, Japan. 11.50. I'm here with my boy, John, a.k.a. Mumble. What up, y'all? Just got in from uh, Los Angeles last night or today. I don't even know. I'm still kind of adapting to the time scheme, but it's nice to be back in Tokyo with one of my underrated people, Isom. Welcome back. Welcome back, bro. So, uh, yeah, so first of all, tell us, um, yeah, about you, your history, your Japanese history. How'd you come over here? Why'd you come over here? And uh, how'd we meet? Shit. That's one of my favorites. Basically, like most children in America, we grew up with like the anime and the samurai movie influence. So, you know, as a young kid, I was always into it. I got to college. I started to nurture my my craving for Japanese culture and got into more like the film. But what I realized was that I didn't know shit about the music. And like, I knew that there was a scene out here. Every fucking song I listen to when there's a shout out, it's like Tokyo, you know? Right. And that's what I want to be a part of, I realized. You know, I, I didn't really have an in into the music scene back there. I was just in college doing my thing. So I studied the language for two years and I did the year abroad. I got that fucking student visa so I could get it over here. I went to Joji Daigaku, but that was Saite. He talked about she represent. He talked about she represent. Okay. Shimokita. So then I was like, <laughs> I got here and I was like, fuck the school shit. I'm about to go do what I gotta do. So I found that sick ass little spot called Shimokita Zawa, moved in there. And from there, everything kind of took place. I met the homie Kaurudera Bisutsa, one of the dopest battle rappers and dopest MCs in my mind. So tell us a little bit about Cal, anyways. What's yeah, again? Cal. Cal is basically I'm like, sorry. he was the, no, no, no doubt. I would love to talk about my homie. Basically, Cal. His, uh, his name is Karutera Bisuta, like a Cal Zera of the Vista. Anyway, he was the um, Japan battle champion on the microphone of two, 2005. He got to the finals in 2006. Was it a Yoyogi B-Boy? No, not the Yoyogi. It was like that UMC ultimate microphone battle. They had it at uh, some place in Shibuya, I believe. It's gotten a lot bigger now. It's like full. It's all Japan now. Last Back then, I think it was just Tokyo. Nice. Anyway, so he had a lot of street credit, and he was just like a cool guy, but he realized when he lost the second battle that he didn't, he didn't feel like he was at his zenith, at, his, at the highest plateau he could be at anymore, that that wasn't enough for him. So he, he sought out like a new experience, and then on the street, randomly, just smoking a cigarette, we met each other. I don't even know. We just, just, just like that. And uh, he's like, let's 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 embark on our own little adventure. The analogy I always like to use, if you let me break it down, right. is the mountain analogy, of course. Basically, me being fresh on the scene, I've been rapping for a while, but I never made an album. I haven't really recorded, performed much. This fool has made two albums, both sick. You can shoot off them. Um, and uh, he's been the battle champion. So it's like this, man. I got to Japan, I saw this fat ass mountain, and I was like, damn, I want to climb that motherfucker. But I have no idea how. My hands like they have no calluses. I got no equipment. I mean, I knew I had the will to do it, but I didn't know how to. And then I, along came Cal, and he's like, packed up, ready to go. And he's like, yo, man, we can climb this mountain together. Just follow me. And so basically, the whole album that we created together, the whole experience I had here was me following his lead of this fucking mountain. Not some Fuji-san type shit, just like our own endeavor. And it's really dope that I had that encounter, because, because of him, he opened those doors to the underground scene. He's like, walk through wherever you please. He left it to me to make my own decisions on that, and one of them happened to be Bushi. Bushi, he was, he introduced me to, and I and I recognized immediately that I really liked this fellow. That like I didn't have to act a certain way or like you know under any kind of pretext. He was just like open arms. You know how Bushi is. He's trying to spread the good word, and he loves hip hop. And plus, he could speak some fucking hilarious <laughs> English. So I was in Bushi go. Bushi go. <laughs> so so what I so like I um. Whoa, badass cicada. Fucking cicada. <laughs> Damn. Woo! Yo, it's good. Yeah. So, going. I don't know. So, what? So, Bushi took so, me yeah. in. Bushi took you in, but then. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's on my bag. It's cool, man. Be my, like, little. Well, that's a that's a chance encounter right there. Yeah. I think I might have heard this kid, I man. I think he was dying, man. They only they only get two weeks to live anyway. You don't have to worry about it so much. Hopefully, he's already planted his seed. You know what I mean? But um, 
basically, after Bushi came, the uh, the underrated people experience. One night, he took me to his home out in Wak- Wak- Wakabashi. 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 And uh, that night, he's like, yo, I got this homie Ice Dome rolling through. He's this black cat from fucking uh, Kansas City. And we also have KMC, who's like this punk hardcore rapper that just came out of the woodworks and together in Bushi's place we hung out like every Thursday at our sessions yeah. just sitting there like I remember when the that my favorite night had to be the, the true b-boy night when that Buddhist b-boy rolled through and started my doing boy. little break moves yeah. on my the boy uh, Reto 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 okay. yeah. yeah man he's he's the man yo yeah I just saw these fools busting onto Tommy I got down my own little movements it's just like those sessions man there's nothing there's nothing pre pre supposed to we were just making something original like out of out of our minds on the spot and then from there dude we just performed recorded songs and i loved how casual it was and like how much we were just allowed to do our own thing and how supportive we were of each other because we knew that like you know we didn't support ourselves like no one else knew the fuck what we were doing so it was it was definitely a real real experience man bushy cooking food Oh yeah, on his uh. So mommy's the unagi chef. You're not, how you gonna fuck with that? That's my son. Pleasures. Got a little. It's Tokyo, man. Shit is condensed. Condensed city.